Hey, y'all. What's up? I've gotten this question so many times, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on it. How are y'all this morning? I'm gonna wait for a few more people to come before I start talking about the main topic. Then I'll take questions at the end. At the end, thank you. Um, so unless some of the questions are relating to the topic of the video. Okay, so how to get, how to steal the attention away from other women in a room full of women. First of all, I always suggest go somewhere where there's not a lot of women, but if you just have to be there because you have no choice or women show up after you show up, be extra feminine and you will take the attention right away from them. Like, for example, you know, they may look cute. They may have on a nice outfit, nails, hair, whatever, makeup. And they'll go up to the bar and they'll order, oh, let me have a Hennessy on the rocks or let me have a beer or let me do this, you know. Um, but you go up and you walk. Hi, yes. Use your baby voice. Hi, yes. Uh, I would like to have. People are going to start listening like, who is that? Oh, I, you know, I, I've been, you know, sitting here the whole time. All I heard was Hennessy and Rob. Uh, wood light, uh, you know, Moscato, da, da, da. and now all of, a sudden, all of a sudden I hear this sweet voice out of nowhere. Hi, how are you? Um, can I have a lemon drop, please, with um, a little extra slice of lemon on the side? With Can you dip it in sugar for me, please? Thank you. Now, if you're a man and you're listening, you're within earshot. You're going to be like, you're going to turn your head. Your attention is going to be straight on that person because it is. Sorry, I was in dogs outside. Um, because your attention is going to be, you know, taken away from whatever you're doing because you've heard something out of the ordinary. Sadly, in this day and age, there are a lot of masculine women in the world. So you're going to be easy to stand out if you act extra feminine, okay? Um, you know, if you don't like, you know, whatever drink that you like, just make it sound extra feminine, like um, whatever. So thank you, Caitlin, appreciate that. And the more feminine you look and sound, act and smell, the more you're gonna stand out from a bunch of women who act the opposite or not as feminine. So when you go in there, make sure that if they look good, you just act extra feminine, you know, because a lot of times if a man sees a woman who looks good but is masculine, he may be intimidated, may not approach, may not ask for her number, may just watch and look from across the room. But if that lady is making everyone like melt by her voice, or if that lady is making everyone turn their heads to look, you know, a man's gonna be like, wow. Um, so make sure you speak up so that people can hear you. And then you'll see, you'll have a lot more attention and people approaching you because they'll hear your sweet voice. They'll be like, wow, she's not like them. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and then when they come over, keep that voice going. Like if the guy comes over, hi, um, I, I've never heard of that drink before and try to talk about the drink. What is it? Oh, then like use your laughs, your baby voice, your giggles, your smile, make eye contact. And like, oh, you need a lemon drop? Act like you're selling this, okay? Play with your hair a little bit if you got some weed. Weave or your real hair, whatever. 
Well, there is vodka, lemon, sour. Like, take your time. Accentuate every word. Lemon, sour, and get animated with it. Move with it. Groove with it. And then around the rim, there's sugar. I'm like, they ain't gonna hear what you say, babe. I'm like, oh, is it good? It is delicious. That's why I ordered it. I might want another one. Then they're gonna be like, well, can I buy you the other one? See? So that's how you have to do it. You can't just sit there and be like, can't see on the rock, Moscato. Champagne, please. You gotta give it to them. You gotta perform everywhere you go. It's a stage. Um. So right. And everyone, even the bartender, will be like, quick to serve you first. Um. People will cater to you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Keep acting. Get those bills paid. Exactly. Then when you go home, you like slop and bought it on and <laughs> slop, bought it on at your house. You, you do, that, do that at your house. When you go out, you are extra okay. <laughs> um, did y'all ever see that one video or meme where that beautiful lady was like out in the bar and then she went home and unzipped her skin and she was like the devil. <laughs> uh, it was hilarious. And she sat on the couch <laughs> and she was like this gross man <laughs> that looked like the devil. Um, you seen that? Will man approach you if you're at a bar or restaurant if you're sitting with your friends or sister? No, go out alone. Alone. If they're bold, they might. But your chance will be higher if you're alone. Mm -hmm. Shira, can a single mother who is in her late 30s with a child's special needs level up? If you keep your social life separate and you make it a uh, priority to keep them separate and you have a focus on your social life as if it is a career, then yes, you can do whatever you choose. If, if a woman can hold a full-time job, a woman can go date. Okay. And have a kid. Thank you, Debbie. Lexi, I appreciate that. I went to club address here in Houston. It was so many masculine women in there. And I bet you stood out, didn't you? That's why I always stood out. Because I was always like, yeah. So that's another thing, you know, you know the type of people that are out there, you know the type of people, you know how they act, talk, walk, what they'll wear, so you do something extra feminine, so there is no competition, okay? Mm -hmm. Focus on social media, like social life, like career, I love it, yes. Sure, what things to say or do when it starts getting boring? That's their job to keep you entertained. Start looking around the room so they get your attention back, okay? That's not your job. That's their job to keep you interested. You're the prize. If, you're, if they're asking you questions, the way that you answer, your body language, your voice, and your smile and eye contact is enough, okay? For them not to be bored. Your conversation and topic doesn't matter what you're talking about. You could be talking about ants on the floor. If you're talking and being extra feminine, they're going to be hanging on to every word because of how you're presenting it. It has nothing to do with what you're talking about. So you just turn up the seduction. You know, so basically, like if they're getting bored, it's like, oh. I really like that um, tie that you have on and touch it like this. Slow, go down, slow. I really like that tie that you have on. 
It's really nice. What color is that? It's really pretty. Or, you know, I really like that shirt or whatever. Um, you don't need to entertain them. You just need to keep their attention on you. Okay. You'd have to be drunk for that? Why? Oh, are you a man? I'm trying to look. Is that a cartoon? Stop <laughs> Um, The girl in the job right now in watch hours killing the haters with fin power and kindness. Hey. Oh, at the job? At the girl at the job? Cool. That's what they do. You act so natural. That's because you got to get used to doing that. That's how you get what you want in the world. You know, it's easy if they don't know who you are. Like, they don't know how you act. They don't know that you're not like that all the time. So why should you feel any, why should you feel awkward? You know, um, so just think of it like that. They'll never see you. They've never seen you before. They don't know how you act. They don't know what you look like. They don't know what your voice sounds like. So you have the freedom to create that. Okay. Um, if you live in a small farming community, imagine what you would look like if you came out of the house looking like this. Imagine how many uh, do farmers that own their own farmland and got their own tractors and contracts would be looking at you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tiki G, for the donation. I'm in the process of reinventing myself. It's fun. It is fun, right? Um, he has only been giving me a hundred every time we meet. We met nine times so far. No sex, of course. He asked, when can we get a room this weekend? How can I turn this into benefit? Should I avoid the room? Yeah, always avoid the room. I said, until they heavily invest, heavily invest, heavily. Mm -hmm. they, he needs to be in the thousands before he can do anything. Up like three, four, five, six, seven thousand. So it's gonna take him a long time if he only doing a hundred dollars a week. By then, y'all have been together for a whole year. Okay. Um, y'all want to hear some crazy ex story? Okay. Y'all talking about exes showing up while you're freestyling? Psh, one came to my job when I was working in a funeral home. Um. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. How to stop focusing on other women he likes and follow on Instagram. They are way better looking than me. He can't, you know, first of all, on Instagram, he can't touch those women unless they live in the same town. If you just happen to live in the same town and you can actually meet him in person, you may have a better chance. You know, men are visual creatures. They're going to look at women no matter what you look like. They're going to look at women no matter what. You know, so you can't stop that. You will never stop it. So stop trying to stop men from looking at other women. Um, You will never stop it. That's what they do. Thank you, Pearl. Hi, friend. Hey. And you shouldn't be intimidated by them looking at other women. Not at all. You know why? Because they go, they do that naturally. You know, you just be glad it ain't me. Okay. Thank you, Lux. Singularity. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, look good and let him see other women looking at you. Exactly. If you have confidence, he may see what. He sees in that chick in you. You may remind him of whoever he's liking. Maybe that's why he liking her. You don't ever know. You know, I've seen women that are way more beautiful than me. 
or uglier than me. And James has commented and said, oh, she kind of looks like you. I'm like, he'll never say, oh, she's beautiful. He'll say, oh, she kind of looks like you. Or she kind of looks like, you know, uh, what, you, what you look like when your hair is like this, you know. So they may just be looking and comparing and then looking back at you. Sure, I love you. You're the best. I have leveled up. And I'm dating way up now. I need dragging. I need to drag it from you to let go of the last Dusty on my roster. He is younger than me and an athlete. Thank you, Maria. Okay, I'm going to drag you. Because you want to be drugged. Maria. Your last Dusty that you're hanging on to. And he's an athlete. Which means that he has several groupies. And also means that you're not the only one, will never be the only one. And he probably does not give you money and never will. So you're giving yourself away for free to a man who has a buffet. Does that make sense? Your value is less than an item on an all-you-can-eat buffet. Okay. You are the food that is left on the plate at an all-you-can-eat buffet that doesn't get eaten and thrown in the garbage. That was you. But that small amount of food, if arranged in the correct way on a new fancy plate with some garnishings on it, would be a $200 meal at a five-star restaurant. That's what you are. But a dusty ex-athlete, who's an ex, I don't know if he's an ex-athlete, but sees you as that extra stuff on the plate at the buffet that belongs in the garbage. Now, look at yourself as the five-star meal instead of the buffet leftover that get tossed in the trash. Okay? Leave him alone. He doesn't see your value. And he never will. And you deserve way more than that. You know. There's a, a I, there's a, a athlete that I used to know that I used to kind of see and date. And I am pretty sure that we are living better than him now because I'm sure he spent all his money. Okay. And his and his wife or whoever he settled with ain't even cute no more. Just keep it real. And understand the truth. Here you go. You're welcome for the drag. Um, I want to get you too bad because okay, you're worth more. Exactly. She or do men like fresh cucumber? I don't, I don't know, sense. I mean, it smells good in the summer. It's, as long as you smell fresh, baby, they don't stink. They gonna like you. Gold digger group contact info, please. Um, if you go to my community section, there is a uh, a post that uh, has detailer uh, Facebook information on there. She is in charge of adding people. So you just go there or D-E-E -E Taylor on Facebook. Okay. Thank you so much. That was so good and nurturing at the same time. Yeah, I was, I'm trying to be nicer. It's hard, but it's early, so I think I can do it. <laughs> and it wasn't a, such a bad situation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you make a man jealous with a new man, how would he react? Thank you so much. Um, that man has to have more money for him to be really hurt or jealous. And to actually change. You know, bring, bringing someone that looks better doesn't do anything for a man. They got to have that car. They got to have the money. Because then they want 
to do better. The jealous one wants to do better and to improve himself because it's now a competition. But I really wouldn't look back if I already got a better one. Okay. Can you do a tutorial? I did. Hey, my makeup channel is linked in the description below. This is the last video. It's called Get Ready With Me Green Eyeshadow Look or G-R-W-M. Get Ready With Me Green Eyeshadow Look. And I have this dress on with this Morphe James Charles palette. Um, but I did link my channel below. I'm a wealthy 31 year old widow. How do I get my man to take care of my late, like your late husband? If they Google me, they can tell that I own a business. My storyline clash. Don't tell them your real name. Give them a nickname. Get your maiden name back. Something. Um, or tell them that you're just still the name on it, but other people run it. Or you want a small share. So. Okay, so being extra feminine is going to take you a lot further, get you more attention, and it's also going to help you stand out in a crowd. Um, if you go into Starbucks, I know some of y'all try to freestyle in Starbucks. Um, I wouldn't, but hey, if you do, go in there and like when you order your coffee, like order it in the same cute voice. And then um, when they ask, you know, what, what's your name? You know, say your name like, my name is da, da, da. If, it's, if, it's, if it's not a name they can pronounce or spell shorten it to something that they can okay. um, just saying that will ruin the whole mood that will ruin the entire whole thing you know, like, mm, mind. so shorten your name to something that they can pronounce and spell and you know <laughs> when, they, when they call your name like that's me. You know, people are like, oh, ma'am, um, you know, here you go. One, like a couple of times I've gotten my Starbucks paid for. Um, I was in my car in the drive-thru. And I was just putting on makeup, dancing in the mirror. to my music around. I was like putting on lipstick, looking cute in the mirror. I guess whoever saw me from their rear view was like, pay for her drink too. So I get up to the, to the window and they're like, oh, that man ahead of you already paid for your drink or your whatever you order. I'm like, really? I would have ordered more if I've known that. I said, that was very nice. And <laughs> that's happened like three times. So I didn't have to get out the car, y'all. Dancing in a mirror, putting makeup on. His wife probably uh, ugly and nothing to look at. And he's sitting up there having a good old time in line watching me from the room. You know? So that's what I do. I'm trying to look good at the same time as I'm getting coffee. But um, try it. How you doing? That, that will help. Um... The baby voice works every time, exactly. And in any situation, I've gotten out of trouble. Yeah. Cop stopping, baby voice. Boss, baby voice. Somebody mad at you, baby voice. Trying to return stuff with no receipt, baby voice. Thank you, Kesh. Kesh, new sugar daddy gave me 2.1 thousand so far and does not know my real name. <laughs> Meeting. An old sugar daddy's weekend. Should I let him lead as far as what we do? Yeah, sure. Why not? If, unless he asks you where you want to go, what you want to do, um, use your baby, use your baby voice, and suggest shopping, and ask him and look up. Like, um, well, I kind of want to go shopping. 
and like boobs, boob boobs. And look up, see what you do. That's how you gotta ask. You can't do it. Can I just have some money? You can't do that. You gotta use what you got. You gotta use your feminine charm. Um, he can't say no for that. You know, he, he can't. So you got it. Y'all gotta learn how to be feminine. So many women ask the same questions. And the answer is so simple. It's just how you give the answer or how you ask or how you speak the tone of your voice. You know, the look in your eye, the smile on your face makes you look happy to be there with them, excited about life. Your excitement turns into their excitement. So just think about that. Um, mm -hmm. what? can you please help me? I have a problem with, <laughs> I'm not going to read that, trolls. Kiki. You was at the airport and a guy took you shopping, spent a thousand dollars, gave you his business card after, didn't feel real. Thank God, I look cute. Hey, we'll be read. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, um, y'all help a sister with these sugar daddy links. <laughs> you got to get out and about, baby. Go, go out get one in real life. That's the one, those are the ones that spend the most. Um, your feminine charm should be turned on the moment you hit the floor. Exactly, everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. America is different because the women are different. You know, um, and I also feel like sex sales here more like for advertising they use a lot of sex so most people are already thinking in that mindset and they're willing to pay and you know the lifestyle here is more like okay if you don't want if, if you don't have no money we don't want you so it's just how women think in the USA and if y'all start thinking like that then eventually it will change too. You know? Just start acting like that. Make it a movement there. Just keep if, if enough women do it, then it, things will change. Um the baby voice works till you dig it. Yes, it will work. Um mm -hmm. I'm 40, it works. You know, it's gonna work forever. It'll work if you ain't got no teeth. You know? Anyway. <clears throat> I'm making America great again. I I'm doing my part. I'm trying to help y'all get the bag. I keep it. Dress feminine everywhere you go. That's right. Don't throw on no sweatpants. Don't throw on no leggings unless you're going to the gym. Don't throw on. Just stop looking ugly. Just stop. Look look like somebody. Look like you're finna run into your ex and his girlfriend. Look like you're getting ready to meet your future husband. Every time you leave your house, that's what you need to look like. Stop looking ugly. <laughs> If you're in a hurry, it takes less time to throw on a cute sundress than to wear a bunch of ugly, you know, uh, athletic clothes. Mm -hmm. How to look feminine with no boobs or hips. Cute dresses, makeup, hair, nails, you know, um, lashes. That's, it's not all the... 
the boobs and the butt, it's not what it takes to be feminine. It's your, it's how you walk, talk, speak, act, the colors you wear, how you smell, how you carry yourself. Um, you don't, you don't need that extra stuff. Mm -hmm. You wear legs still. Well, maybe that's your side. Like, maybe that's where y'all live. But over here, it's like trashy for us. Like, in some states, legging is a staple. In some cities, leggings are a staple. In other cities, a lot of ladies would not be caught dead unless they're going to the gym. So, it just, it probably just different styles for different cities. Right. Um, but where I live, you won't see it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Someone says leggings are trash. I saw this meme, or was it a post on Facebook? And this man it was a man. And he said, I was so disappointed when I took my son, you know, to register for high school. And all the girls were wearing leggings. And then he says, trashy. So it just depends on your thinking about leggings. I'm not saying you trashy. I'm just saying the style is considered that now. You know, but it doesn't matter. If you're already getting married, you know, it don't matter. You know, leggings is your staple. That's fine. Um. Young world leggings to the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you seen the new Iggy video? Yeah, I saw that. I got that old sugar daddy. Um, mm -mm. Like, it don't matter. You look, if leggings is hot where you live, go for it. That don't bother me. Um, <laughs> I only wear leggings to the beauty supply. I don't even have any leggings anymore. I throw them all the way. <laughs> I only have like gym pants, like gym leggings from like pink or Nike. I threw all of them things away. Just never, never again. I, I never. Okay. I don't even wear around the house anymore. I got pajamas or lounge wear. I'm getting fancy over here. I got lounge wear. Um, this is a dress. Yes, yeah, Sasha picked my outfit today. This is like a, I would call this cruise chic. This is something you would wear on vacation or cruise. It's like a big old island looking print dress. Mm -hmm. But I'm old, I'm 40. I shouldn't have on, I shouldn't be wearing leggings, you know. I think leggings are for young girls, you know, up to college. Maybe early, early, early 20s around the house, but I'm 40. I can't, I can't be wearing that stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so go to the resale store. Oh, okay. No, Y'all are giving each other good tips in there. See that? So, you know, also your nails and your jewelry. Okay. I know a lot of women don't really realize this, but sometimes if you overdo things, it's, it's not feminine. Like you, you may have nails, but they may be out to here with a bunch of stuff on it. That's not feminine. So uh, you may have um, like nice jewelry, but if you wear it all at the same time, it becomes overwhelming. So you need to learn how to calm it down a little bit. Um, calm your look, calm your stuff down a little bit to be more feminine. Okay, so. Like, for example, nails that are super long with a bunch of stuff on it. It's pretty. It's unique. But it is not feminine. Okay. 
So something like this looks more or less intimidating to a man. You know? Um, you can go anywhere with it on. You can meet his mother with it. No one's going to be scared of your nails. He's not going to wonder how you have your booty. That's, that's something right there. Yes. Y'all think about this kind of stuff because that's what they think. Then, like, if you turn your nails over, if you got the long ratchet nails, it's, it's, a lot of times it's dirty under there. So you need to, um, it is plain and it's very feminine. And men love it. Do you know how many compliments I get on my nails now that I keep them more simple? Oh my gosh. I will go like, oh, I love your nails. Oh, your nails are so pretty. Um, from men, not women. You know, um, and they'll be like, oh, I love that color. You know, um, because they're so simple. They don't look intimidating or scary or like they got a bunch of stuff underneath them or you, you know, you spent two hours in the nail shop getting stuff glued on it. It's more of a feminine, simple, simplistic look. And they like it. I don't know. I, I never got compliments when I used to do the crazy stuff on my nails, except for women. Women like it. Men are more like this. How can I balance being extra feminine without being flirty? Baby voice, ask questions, smile. Mm -hmm. um, these nails are dip, dip powder, but this is the length of my real nail, yeah. Posted a photo of me at dinner and it showed a man's hand. Ever since a guy that drove 40 miles to see me has been dry, should I reach out? then pull away. Rose, thank you for the donation. You need to crop your photos way better. Never, I always tell people this, and I told, I said this in an old, old video, and I've told this to so many women, and I've seen their profile pictures. If you are, if your profile picture is you sitting in a damn restaurant, that means you on a date, okay? If you're dressed up sitting in a restaurant, that means another man took that photo. If there's another piece of a man's hand in that photo, you're on a date. Men don't want to see that. Get a photo, a selfie, just like every other woman, and stick it on there. Stop putting photos from dates or where you went out with your friends or something like that. Put a photo that you took yourself because that's exactly what they think. That's what I would think. If you have a profile picture of, of yourself on another date, take it down. They already know because I know. And it doesn't take a lot to figure it out. Okay. I would be dry too. Um, Y'all need to get smarter. Y'all need to think before you act. Look at that photo. What is he going to think when, I, when he sees this photo? Not, oh, I look good in this photo. No, there's a man's hand in it and I'm on a date in this photo. He's not stupid. He's going to figure it out. So only selfies. Um, can you post a picture of the food? I thought that went out like two years ago, three years ago. What? Y'all still doing it? I don't know. Just got back from yoga. Hey, oh, you do yoga? <laughs> okay. I want an Angelina Jolie jaw and cheekbone. Should I get fillers? Girl, what you look like now? <laughs> um, if your facial structure, if your facial structure will allow you to get that, it's like contour and highlight. Try that. Try makeup first. Mm -hmm. someone says oh heaven barlow says if you take photos of your food it looks like you're not used to going to nice restaurants applebee's 
<clears throat> if you're taking pictures of Applebee's, there's no hope. It's over. Um, we're going to stop posting food now. Well, if that's something you enjoy, you know, don't, I don't want to take your joy away from you, but don't do it on dates. You know what I'm saying? Um, go do that when you go out by yourself or something. Mm -hmm. What eyeshadow palette did I use? Hey, I have my makeup and beauty channel in the description box below. And I did this look today. So you'll be able to see. It is the James Charles palette though. Okay, so being extra feminine doesn't mean being flirty. Okay. Um, I've seen some women that are just obnoxiously flirty and it, it's a turn off. Um, some men automatically think A, you're a hooker. B, you're going to set them up to get robbed. Don't come off as flirty. Come off as feminine. There is a difference because a lot of ladies are too forward and it scares them. You know, so I see a lot of ladies posting these ratchet comments like on Facebook and Instagram, like, you know, uh, I need some, you know, D tonight and just post it. Or I miss, you know, doing this, this and that. I'm like, ew. Dust magnet. You ready for your fifth, sixth, seventh child from a different man? Okay. You know, it's like, what are you doing? <clears throat> and then I've seen women um, just tell someone, oh, you cute. Oh, you're, you cute. What's your name? You know, shut up. You, you ruining the game. Shut your right, shut them out up. That's what I want to tell them. You know, I'm like, oh. Why do y'all do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flirting is like making it known that you like that man and you are interested in him sexually or for a relationship before he's even had a chance to tell you his name. That's ratchet flirting. Um, that's how the women are in your area. I'm so sorry. Mm -mm -mm. So if y'all have done that in the past, no longer do it. Never do it again. Don't hang around people that do it. Um, mm -hmm. I think women should wear dresses two thirds of the time, but below me and slightly full. Um, it depends on where you live and what the style is, but I do definitely like below the knee, especially for evening or extra feminine dresses, um, maybe more fitted, maybe more um, flowy, depending on if it's a sundress or not. But yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. How to dress feminine during cold and rainy spring weather? Um, dress. Get you a nice trench coat. Um, keep a pair of different shoes in your car in case the, the sun comes out. Then you can change. Cute boots. Mm -hmm. Espadrilles are wedges with ribbons that tie up your legs. Mm -hmm. Um. What should you wear on the first date? Dress. Feminine and your color. Thank you. I've been in New Orleans for three years and haven't found a sugar daddy yet. I'm 26 and reconsidering moving back home to Houston, but I won't have a car. Plus, I'll have to live with my mom for a while. What do you suggest? Thank you for the donation. Um, it's Courtney. 
you would probably be better off in Houston because there's more money here. You could probably get a car in no time. Um, you know, if you look good, if you go out freestyling, you can probably get a sugar daddy too and help to make a down payment on a car. You can Uber until then or get you a friend that has a car. I don't know. But you're probably not going to have any luck in New Orleans. Okay. Thank you for the donation. A, a survey was done. Men prefer colorful nail color more than nude and natural. Well, I had on red last week, baby. They love the red. Um, but I feel like who were those men? And do they have money? Men with money don't go around taking surveys about nails. Think about that for a second. Um, there's a reason why certain women don't do those type of nails. You won't see that in the country club. You won't see that in the royal family. You won't see that unless it's like, you know, on a ratchet video. But think about that for a second. Y'all got to also think about that. Think of the source. Thank you, Lip Bliss. He got me an engagement ring for $3,000. Is that cheap? How much should the ring be? It's being too feminine and bad. I don't work anymore. I need help. When he asks, what do I want to do? Um, what do I want to do? Um, tell him you want to start your own business and make it a business that's going to take forever to start making money. That way you really don't have to work. He's investing in your business. You can grow it, whatever. And then he's still paying them bills. If that's just your engagement ring and not your wedding ring, wait for the wedding ring. Take that. Is it the one with like the one stone? Is it the ring you're going to get married with? You know, so is, are you getting one ring or two rings? That's my question. If that's the only ring you're getting, you need, you need to ask for something bigger or lose it and upgrade it. Make sure it has insurance though. You know what I mean? Um... I don't know. Some men are trying to buy rings from Walmart. Exactly. Go get that thing appraised. Um, you know, if he can't afford something bigger, if he doesn't want to put it on credit, some people can only get $3,000 out of their account at one time, depending on their bank account, without having to call the bank, too. So you think about it. So you might need to get some inside information. If he can afford more, ask for a band to go with your ring, a diamond band. Okay. How do you ask someone you take talking to online, one of those millionaire dating sites for money before you meet girl? <laughs> Y'all ask me don't question. Hmm. Don't. You meet them first, baby. Why would they give you money before you even meet them? Are you, you know, come on. They are millionaires. You sitting over here begging for money before they even meet you. Come on. You're, you're trying to be a millionaire's wife or you know, long-term girlfriend. Well, how did you meet? Oh, I found her online begging dudes for money. Thank you, Liblis. No, I mean, a daily going out wise, he is paying for my salon and helped me launch my business, but what do I want to do shopping and dinner is okay. Any more tips? Oh, oh okay, thank you. Um, Do you live near water? Can you go, like, sailing? Could you go, you know, um, do something by the beach? Could you go to a wine bar? Could you go wine tasting? Could you go um, to some type of event where you have to wear formal clothes, like a fundraiser, 
go to your uh, town like website and look up events or fundraising events where black tie fundraising events you get to dress up so go and find fun things like that to do and then suggest it like oh they're having this fundraising event masquerade ball we get to dress up i get to wear a gown you can wear a tux or whatever it would be so fun you know huh? Lindsay Wells, thank you. I get jealous and annoyed when my boyfriend talks about his kids all the time. Any tips on not showing my jealousy so I don't lose the bag? Um, thank you, Lindsay. Well, he's gonna talk about his kids. Okay, those are those are there for 18 years or however old they are, plus until they get to 18. Thank you, Liz. So you're gonna have to deal with that forever. You're you shouldn't date a man with kids if you're not able to deal with that, you know. Um, you know, you're never gonna be first ever, 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 ever. They came first, they first. So I suggest either get used to it or don't date men with kids, you know. And that's the sad part about it. You will never be first. They will always take priority over you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if they're a major part of his life, they're going to take priority over you. Mm -hmm. Or just don't let it bother you. I wouldn't let it bother me as a kid. I mean, there's no competition there, you know. If all he wants to talk about is kids and stuff, you know, get his mind somewhere else. Mm -hmm. If you get his mind somewhere else, he's not going to be thinking about his kids. How you doing? Um, some, someone says you sound like an evil stepmom. If you're young, do not date men with kids. Because you're still young. And you want all the attention. And you deserve all the attention. So date someone with no kids. Mm -hmm. that's what I tell people like don't don't date a man with kids if you need that attention don't do it you know once you've dated a couple of guys and had a couple of relationships and you don't need you you don't need that much attention anymore because you've grown into yourself then it's probably easier to date a man with kids because you're not going to be jealous you know um but when you're young oh you become jealous because you want to be top priority so, yeah, I'm really poor. Do I have a chance with a sugar daddy? Yeah, just look good and be poor. I look good though. His kids are older than me. Oh, Lindsay Wells. Okay, well then, like, I really, it really wouldn't bother me because I don't care enough. Like seriously, as long as my money is good, my bills are paid. You can talk about whatever you want. I'm gonna sit here and be like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Wonderful. That's great. But in my mind, I'm gonna be spending that money in my mind, like planning what I'm gonna do with it, where I'm going on vacation. I you just don't care, baby. It don't matter. If his kids are older than you, he old, he like to talk about his kids. Let him talk about his kids. You know, they're no threat to you. <laughs> right wants to marry me but he can't have baby anymore i still want baby in the future worked what to do why well, can't he have babies anymore he got a vasectomy he can reverse a vasectomy or you can get artificial insemination that way you get to pick your you know um why thank you lindsay i want kids with him too that's what i get that's why i get jealous girl you don't have a baby versus a grown adult there's no comparison and you need to stop getting so jealous girl you can't possess or own or control what anybody does but yourself only thing you can change is how you feel about that situation that's all you can do the only thing you can do is change how you feel about that situation Look at it as you have free babysitters. They're no longer on child support. Taking your bag. Okay. 
Look at it the, the correct way. He's family oriented, so he will stick by. Start seeing the positive in this, you know. Stop trying to control everything. With when he got the bag, you want to have a kid. He talked about his grown kids as older all day. Okay, he likes family. That's an added bonus. At least he ain't on Instagram liking people's booties. You lucky. Okay, I had to get you straight, girl. Nisa, Nisa Donna, thank you. Right? <laughs> Just change the way you feel about it. See it from a different perspective. Make it work for you. Get more money out of it. Mm -hmm. What would my first thought be of a 58-year-old man Normal looking with no kids, can't have no kids. A 58 year old man, normal looking with no kids. Girl, he was in the war. <laughs> hmm? Um, he's, I don't know. Like, I, for me, if you want kids, then, um, you want to marry him and you want kids? Does he want kids? Can you adopt? You know, it's going to be a lot of people up for adoption him because it's abortion. Uh, whole thing. Or you can just get, you know, artificially inseminated. No big deal. Mm-hmm. He said he might want one child now. Okay, well, we know what to do. I'm 26, no kids. Should I be dating 40 and above? Correct. I do want kids in the future. Uh, 45 and above. Mm -hmm. 40 is still young to me, like, because I'm 40. And I, you know, I'm, I already know a 40 year old man is not going to be as mature as me. And I already know I'm not going to pay nothing for anybody. I'm still looking for somebody to pay something for me. So a 40-year-old man is not a good target. They still think they look good and should get free whatever from women. So 45, 48, and if you want some money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's a good place to hide my safe? The money I'm taking from him on the low low in somebody else's house, your mama's house. Um, mm -hmm. Can you? you said a storage unit. I say take that money and go buy some gold bars and get a safety deposit box. Mm. Yes. So can we get an example of the baby voice? Just sound like a little kid. Hi. You know, like, um, Oh my goodness, that's so funny, wow. <laughs> you know, oh yes, I would love to do that. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun, yay. You know, fake bubbly, fake bubbly. They like that, they think it's real, ooh, what? Yeah, they, know, they don't know you sit at home cussing like a sailor and Good morning, Shira. What did you order at Starbucks? Thank you, Jacqueline Zapata. Well, I'll tell you what I ordered today in my feminine baby voice. Well, I ordered a tall cafe Americano 
with a few splashes of almond milk and three packs of stevia with a stopper. It was so hot, I couldn't drink it at first, so I had to blow it like this, in this little hole. <laughs> and then it was finally cooled down enough so I could just take a big gulp. That's how you do that. No, first, if you don't, if you have a deep voice and you can't do a baby voice, then you need to do a sensual voice. Your sensual voice can sound like this. And you just stretch out every word. Make eye contact. It's almost like a hypnotic voice like this, like ASMR. It's like, hi. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. The little raspiness, I think I'm doing great. Oh, I would love to do that. Yes, let's go. I'm ready when you are. So you want to do it. If you have a, if you a loud mouth, shut it up. If you allow, blah, 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 it's not going to work for you. If you are a loud mouth, change. I know a lot of women are loud mouths. It's going to backfire on you. So if you're one of the people that everybody can hear from across the restaurant, way up in the back, shut it up. It's too loud. No one likes to go out with anyone that talks loud. Nobody. Unless they talk loud too. <laughs> so no talking loud. I shouldn't be able to hear your conversation from way across the room. No cursing. Mm -hmm. Right. No foul language. How to practice baby voice. I just showed you. Act. It's not, there's nothing to practice. Just change the voice. Act dumb and stupid. With a high pitched voice. Hey, hi, yes. I would like to um, order, you know, loud, I mean, not loud, high, bubbly, innocent. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Milani. Can you give an example of feminine flirty? Is wearing black dress on the first date not good feminine color? I look, look black is boring, like as a first date dress. Thank you though for the donation. Black looks like you're afraid, especially in the summertime or spring. No, wear something feminine like pink, baby blue, red, you know, something feminine. Wearing black to me is like, I'm fat, I'm trying to hide my fatness. That's what everyone thinks when they see someone in all black. I'm trying to hide how fat I am. And, or I have no sense of style, so I'm just gonna wear black, unless it's winter. You know, black is chic in the winter, but it is summer. You should not be wearing black unless you go into the funeral home. You got $13,000 ring plus 900 after the fabulous Florida trip. Proposed to move in with him and two kids. What? Will pay for school and fully support me requirements before and moving in. Girl, you can you didn't hit the jackpot, Melanie Goddess. Insta. Girl, you didn't hit the you didn't hit the jackpot. Y'all give it up for y'all give it up. Uh -oh. I gotta go in a second. Y'all give it up for um Melanie got this Insta. She even got the bag. Thank you, Mary. Um, no cooking, no cleaning. You need service, maid service. You need a girls' night out once a week. 
put all of that up and write it down, girl. Get your stuff written down. Plan it out. Everything you want to do, do it. Do you need some maids? Definitely get the maids. Okay. It's Courtney. Thank you. Uh, last question. Is it really possible to obtain a man of means if I've never been in a serious committed relationship? My mom didn't teach me anything. It is very possible to do anything. You know, um, all you got to do. I really wish you were more experienced so you don't get caught up. Go get you one first. Go get you a relationship first. Get that out the way. Then go get you the bag. OK, you need to have at least one in before him. OK. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have savings. Are you a virgin? If you're a virgin, please go get it out the way or sell it or something before you get in a real relationship. Please. Or else you're going to be the dumb one in the relationship the whole time. Um. Okay, thank you. Rick Ross says disappointment by. That is so silly because Rick Ross always loves gold diggers. He says went went gold six times for a gold digger. Uh, you know he says um my that his woman looks like a bag of money. He's you know he says um. First step for the shoes on my girl feet. Come on now, Rick. Change your profile and your name because you ain't even fitting your description. Okay? Get out of here, fake baller. Mm -hmm. First step for the heels on my bitch feet. Come on. Rick, you don't know your own music? Okay, anyway. Y'all know that's the fake Rick Ross. I give compliments to black girls. They do not even know how to say thank you. No wonder you're single. We don't need compliments. Pay some. Buy groceries while we're standing in line. Pay for our coffee. You know. Mm -hmm. Hand us some hundred dollar bill or something, Rick. We don't need a compliment. That's what Instagram is for. That's what social media is for. Can you do better than that? That's all I need to say. You know, I'm supposed to be thankful because I know I look good. And you noticed it too? Oh, well, thank you so much for noticing what I've already known. Like, you know, that's what I mean. Um, it's nice. Thank you so much for the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> like I already know. Thank you. Thank you for noticing the obvious. As much effort and time that I spend putting on all this stuff, I know I look good. Okay. Now, did the look pay off? Did I get something out of it? Did somebody pay for my coffee today? Did somebody pay for my lunch today? Did somebody pay for my groceries today? Did somebody say, oh, I would like to take you out to dinner today? Oh, I would like, here's $100 here, just for being beautiful. No. So that's the compliments that we need. Y'all can keep the rest. Um, And that's just my opinion, you know. Ugly women love compliments. Go give them to them. If you want a thankful woman, go get an ugly woman and tell, them she, tell her she's beautiful. She will tell you thank you. You, you already found one that look good. They already know they look good. Give them something else. We tired of hearing it. That's just the honest. We're, I'm just being honest. You want honesty? You want me to lie to you? I just gave you some game, some free game. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just want to help him understand. That's all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I say thank you. I'm just polite. Yeah, I do too. But what I'm really thinking is I already know this. It's like a little kid. Maybe. Oh, you're so cute. I know. Because why, why did they say I know? Think about this. When you tell a kid, oh, you're so cute. 
and they say, I know, why do they say I know? Because everyone tells them that already every single day and they are used to it and it is a known fact and so it no longer has any value to them. But if you say, hey, you are so smart or hey, here's a toy because you're just so cute. Thank you. You know, there's their excitement. There's your gratitude. They know they're cute. A kid doesn't waste time lying to people. Women will do it. Men will do it. But if you want the real game, pay for that lady groceries. Pay for that lady's gas. That's pretty. That's how you tell them that they're beautiful when they're already beautiful. And they know it. That's, that's what y'all got to do. You can't tell a beautiful woman she's beautiful. That's like telling a kid, a cute kid, they're cute. They already know, and they're tired of hearing it, and they're just trying to hurry up and get you out of their face and say, oh, yeah, I know. Okay? So, just tell y'all. There's, there's a new way to compliment a woman, and it's called pay for her stuff. Give her some cash. Ask her out to a nice restaurant. You know, something like that. Even a sister, can I pump your gas for you? Something. May I offer you lunch? Let me get you a drink. Okay? Let me pay for your ballet. Something. All right. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. I hope this helped you. And as a feminine woman, you are never afraid to have standards either. Okay? And Rick Ross, I wouldn't mad. I was just giving you some game. I know it ain't really Rick Ross, but thank you guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.